Okay, so I have installed the light fixtures into the eShine algae scrubber here. And as you can see, there's a bracket here. Um, might be easier to see here. Uh, there we go. There's a bracket that allows for uh, the air to get through from, you know, because the fans blow in here, come out here. Um, and it holds the fixture in place. Uh, these little deals here are tapped. Uh, there's holes in the end, so you can feed the cord for the light fixture through. One of them I got kind of off center, as you can see. The other one's pretty well centered, and then I'll just uh, have some kind of gasket to seal this off. Uh, and I've got a uh, piece of 1 8 inch black laminated around here to create a little window. So this is really one of the first power on tests, and I was actually kind of surprised at how uh, how low the uh, the bleed light is out of this. So turn one on, turn the other on. So there it is running. See it's really bright right in here, right where it's supposed to be. Yet there is, you see on the end here, it's hardly noticeable. In fact, here I'll turn the lights off. You can see it from the side. This is without the lid yet, or without the slot tube in there. Now I've just got a sheet of 1 8 inch black and pour it over it. And you know, there's the light coming out of my garage door without a slot pipe in here. You can hardly see anything. In fact, I'm having a trouble walking around because it's so damn dark in here. Um, I do have a little slit at the bottom. Um, I miscut the uh, that one eighth inch uh, template cover, so you can see some light bleeding out of the bottom. But uh, now, I actually, what I'm going to do? I'm gonna turn the lights back on so I can see what I'm talking about. Oh, went out of weird focus here. Um, anyway, I'm going to add, let me turn one of these off here. Ah, there we go. That was strange. Um, I'm going to add a gusset in here. Uh, we'll leave an inch on either side of this for the bulkhead to go in. Bulkhead fits right there. And that will be where the false bottom lays. It's going to be a one inch tall piece. So there will be an area here where the water can come off the screen and down and over and around. And the entire bottom area will be blacked out. So that's where uh, it does drain, uh, prevents the uh, drain from clogging. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do here is uh, drill a hole right by here and put in a uniseal bulkhead with the street elbow coming out, and that will be a, a secondary overflow prevention. Um, and uh, that's about it right now.